we're back in the workshop today. We're in the we're in the booth today. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do the pinstripe on this tank. Uh, the last bit, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I'm going to try, like the other video, I'm going to try and keep the waffle really, really, really low and minimal. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get on and do it. Um, I've just finished work. We've just actually painted the dirty booth white. So if I look a bit white and dusty, it's because we've just painted the booth white. I think we're going to do this one next. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to get on and line the tape. Um, I don't really need to explain anything because you'll see it. So uh, so yeah, let's just get on with it. So actually, I will. <laughs> I can't help myself. I will quickly just explain what I'm doing. Obviously, we had um, we had the issues with the silicon. That's okay now. That's all flatted. See that? So we're all okay with that. The whole tank's been flatted with a thousand. And all I'm going to do to line it out, very quickly show you. So we've got three mil lining tape. So I'm going to put. One piece there, and then I'm going to line up to it with another piece. You can see where we're going, can't you? It's not rocket science. And again, another piece there, and then let's do it so you can see, and then we will whip this one out, and there you go we have our pinstripe by hand. There you go. And that will give us our pinstripe. So yeah, so I'm gonna whack it on time-lapse and, um, and line it out. Okay, so we've got our pinstripe, so to speak, lined out. And I'm just gonna go around the, uh, around the outside or either side of that. And, uh, and then we'll pull that one off and that'll leave our pinstripe. Okay then look, so we've lined the, um, well yeah, we've lined it all out now and hopefully if I remove this one, that there is going to leave our pinstripe. Here we go. So that will be our pinstripe that we're going to keep. See, we've gone into the red a little bit there because there was a funny little, just, just went slightly low with the cream there. Although you can't see it on the top, when you're looking over on the top of the tank, you can't see it, but it was just niggling me a tiny bit. So yeah, and there we go. We've got our pinstripe. Radio, that is some mammoth masking task for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're another, oh, I don't know, two hours in just to do this pinstripe. Okay, so I've got my mask on, so I'm a bit muffled, but I'm going to try and just uh, show you how we do this, kind of. 
So I'm going to hold the phone and, uh, and we're just going to dust, dust the collar on really gently, drop the pressure in the gun. Uh, we've got the little uh, Devogus smart repair gun today. Okay, so we're just going to drop the pressure, tiny little bit of material and just dust it in around this line. Let's see how we get on. There we go, there's a gold on. Yep, of course it was going to be gold. It was always going to be gold. So yeah, <laughs> oh dear, that's on. I'm going to demask it and then some clear. And then I'm going to go home because I'm tired and hungry. Radio. We are on the last bit of demasking this. Obviously I've done the other side and that was all okay. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm about to see. Hopefully it's all okay. It's always a little bit of a worry. We didn't want that to happen <laughs> after I said that. Let's just nick that off there. Yeah, it's always a little bit of a worry. Demasking where you've, um, you know, either a pinstripe or a, you know, two different colors. You never quite, uh, you never quite know how it's gone. And sadly, like everything, it doesn't always go to plan. But let's cross our fingers. this off. The gold looks nice, which is which is good. I'm happy with that because the um, the gold was, uh, I had to match the gold to the stickers um, and it was a bit of a job because, you know, we've only got a tiny area to sort of try and colour match. Let me do that from the other way, that's being a pain now. So what I don't want to do, the reason I stopped there a minute ago, was I don't want, there we go. I didn't want to pull the fine line tape off with the masking tape. It's, um, I prefer to do the fine line last if I can. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, it's, it doesn't matter if you, well, it doesn't, doesn't actually matter at all, it's just sometimes that's how I prefer to do it. Let's just nick that little bit off there. I hope you guys are still um, enjoying this process. Obviously it's gone on quite a long time, uh, but it, it is quite a long process anyway. Right, wait, 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 here we go. Cross your fingers. Okay. Cool, that one's okay. And let's do the last bit. There we go. Nearly there, Mr. Wayne, nearly there. Woohoo! <laughs> 
That's it. We're done. Yeah. Everything looks all right. We've got a little bit, tiny bit of build up around the edge, but you're always going to get that. You um, you can't uh, you can't do anything about that. If, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I mean, I'm being really picky, but there's a slight build up there. But hopefully, hopefully, when I tack it off with the tack rag, that'll um, hopefully that will go. We'll lose a bit of that. Like I say, there's nothing you can do with that. That's part of it. Um, but yeah, that's really good. Okay, so we are done, finally. So we've got the clear on the pinstripe. And yeah, it all looks really, really nice. I was gonna say lovely. It looks lovely, really, really nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problems this time, thank God. Um, paint's gone on nicely, finish is really nice. Couple of little nuggets, one of them, was there. I'm not going to get too close because we're still pretty soft with it. Uh, one was in the top, um, kind of around there. Not that you can see that from here. Uh, that was actually a tiny, tiny little hair had gone in it while I was uh, while that were the sorry while the second coat was flashing off, and I saw it, um, but I just thought it's better to leave it in there. We'll just whack another coat of lacquer on it and just nib it out when it's uh, you know when it's dry. So, um, yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah, so this may well be the last uh, video on this, because um, again, it's, dra it's dragging out. Uh, I don't want you guys to have to sit for a part four. Um, but yeah, so I might give it a polish. Um, well, I will, because there's a couple of little bits in it. Um, so we'll give it a polish. And, uh, and that'll be done. But I will quickly whip around it with the, with the camera so you can see, because like I say, it might be the last, might be the last bit. But um, if it is the last bit, I've got to say thank you so much for, um, for, for you know, joining me and, and kind of watching the process. Now, it's now, it's now four o'clock-ish. Uh, I finished, well, I started this at one. So we are around 20 hours into this tank so far. Um, it's, you know, it, there's a lot of work in it. There's a lot of different processes. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really, really good and I'm dead happy. 
So, um, but yeah, getting sidetracked again. But thank you so much for, for all the support and uh, all the new subscribers. Uh, don't forget, I've got, um, I've got a few videos on the BMW that I built. Um, and obviously there's the Honda uh, Hornet, the Angry Hornet. Um, yeah, so there's loads of things, you know, that I'm going to carry on with. I may do a little um, uh, carbon fibre uh, video, just how to make a single part using um, carbon fibre uh, uh, overlay method. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I may well do one of them uh, really soon. So, uh, so yeah, thank you guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.